Hey everyone, it's time for another LACO Fact Check. Now, as you've probably heard by now, President Biden recently announced an investment in water infrastructure in Florida. That's good news. But what is not is that he intentionally excluded funding for the most important Everglades restoration project, the EAA Southern Storage Reservoir. This reservoir will help send more water south, which in turn will reduce toxic discharges to our east and west coast of Florida. Now, since this screw up, several groups that previously supported funding for the reservoir have completely changed their tune. Biden said jump and they said how high. They have rushed to the president's defense, claiming that the reservoir is not at the correct step to receive funding. And that's just simply not true. But unfortunately, journalists are all too eager to defend the bad decision by this president, and they've brought the lie hook, line, and sinker. The truth is that not only is this project at the correct step to receive funding, but has already started to receive funding. In 2020, President Trump allocated a historic $250 million for Everglades restoration in his budget. And as a result, at the end of 2021, the Army Corps of Engineers distributed more than $68 million to the Central Everglades Planning Project, including construction of the EAA reservoir canals and design of the reservoir itself. That's far short of the approximately $2 billion that will ultimately be needed from the federal government but with tens of millions of dollars already allocated to this project. It's patently absurd to claim that the project is not at the correct step to start receiving funding. Joe Biden's decision to omit funding is putting the project at risk of major delays and all of those repeating the lie that it's simply a result of bad timing, they should know better. That's a LACO fact check.